as we begin our new week. We thank you for taking time out of your morning routine to sit with us at the feet of Jesus as we worship him and praise him as we seek his face for our lives. If this is your first time joining us, we do welcome you here at Rise and Pray, Lives Depend on It. We are here every day, Monday through Friday. We begin 555 with worship, and then we pray from 6 from six o'clock to 615. So we thank you for joining us, and we welcome back all of our returning callers and returning listeners. We welcome you back to the line on this morning. And one additional announcement, um, the church, our church, is having corporate prayer for the month of January. And so we wanted to invite you all to that. It will take place on the prayer line that you're on right now, it will just be at, we will still have our 6 a.m. prayer, but in addition, we'll have a 6 p.m. prayer for one one hour, and the prayer focus for those prayers is reclaiming and recovering. So we we, we ask that you join us if you're free for the whole hour, or even if you're free for part of the hour, you can join us for those prayer sessions. Today, I'm going to read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 through 4, 1 through 3, and I'm reading it from the easy-to-read version. Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 through 3. Faith is what makes real the things we hope for. It is proof of what we cannot see. God was pleased with the people who lived a long time ago because they had faith like this. Faith helps us understand that God created the whole world by his command. This means that the things we see were made by something that we cannot be, that I'm sorry, this means that the things we see were made by something that cannot be seen. God, we thank you for your word. As we gather to, together on this morning, God, our prayer f- focus is true faith, God. We understand that faith is the assurance that's tied to future realities, giving us a realness to what we know is coming enabling us to live now as if we already have it. We understand, God, that true faith is not something that we can see, taste, smell, hear, or touch. And we understand that true faith is is when we believe in the things that have evidence. So we thank you this morning for gathering us at your feet, O oh God. We thank you, God, as we're surrendering our lives, our days to you, God. We're surrendering our bodies unto you, God. We thank you, God, for coming to our hearts, even now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for being so faithful to us, O oh God. We thank you for being so loving to us, God. We thank you for arising us on this morning, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. Some of us may have been moving a little slow for God, but we thank you, God, that as we get into your presence, oh God, that we can receive our energy, oh God. We can receive our joy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We can be recharged, oh God, for the day to come. So we thank you, oh God, for reigniting us on this morning, oh God. We thank you, God, for being a God of many chances, oh God. You've given us another chance this week, God, to do what we did not get done last week, God. You give us a new day to get done today, what we did not do on yesterday, God. We thank you for a new year, God, to do things that we did not get done in 2019, God. We thank you for your newness, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for your new anointing, God, that you are showering down in our lives, God. We thank you for our new mindset, oh God, that you're giving unto us, oh God. We thank you that old things have been passed away. Behold, all things are made new, God. We thank you, God, that we are a new creature in you, oh God. We thank you, God, that you allow your the Holy Spirit to rest and rule and abide in us, oh God. We thank you for allowing 
us to be the temple of your Holy Spirit. God, we count it as a privilege, God. We count it as an honor, oh God, even to read your word, God. We thank you for your word, God, that you give to us, God, that helps us to stay on the straight and narrow, God. Your word that you give to us, God, when we're feeling down and out, God, we can read your word, God, and become encouraged even the more, God. We thank you that your word is living, God. Your word is true, oh God. We thank you, God, for revelation that you give to us through your very precious word, oh God. We glorify you on this morning, God. We say there is absolutely nobody like you, oh God. We ask that you will forgive us this day, God. Forgive us for everything that we said, God. Everything that we've done, God. Our thoughts that did not please you. God, we're asking you this morning to forgive us, oh God. We give your word back to you, God, in Psalms 51, oh God. As David prayed this prayer, God, after he has sinned against you, oh God, we're asking that you have mercy upon us, oh God. Blot out the stains of our sins. It is against you, God, and you alone have we sinned. For we have done what is evil in your sight, God. We were born sinners, even at the time of conception in our mother's womb. But you desire honesty from the heart so that you can teach us to be wise in our innermost beings. Wash us and cleanse us, God. Purge us with your hyssop, creating us a clean heart, God. Renew a right spirit within us. God, don't take your Holy Spirit away from us, oh God. Don't ban us from your presence, God. But we're asking that you will restore into these bodies, oh God, into these spirits, oh God, the joy of your salvation. Make us willing to obey you, God, for it is obedience that is better than sacrifice. But one sacrifice you do desire, God, and that is when we have a broken spirit spirit and a repentive heart, God. Unseal these lips so that we can praise you, God, and teach sinners your ways. And you said that that they will return back unto you, God. We thank you and we praise you, oh God. We can declare on this morning, God, according to Luke 1 1 and 38, oh God, that we are the Lord's servant and we are willing to accept whatever he wants, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we can pray that prayer, God. We thank you that we can declare that word, oh God, over our lives because it is our desire, God, that we walk in the fullness of you, oh God. It is our desire, God, that you will find us, oh God, without blot, spot, or blemish, oh God. We understand that we will never be perfect people, God, until we reach you, oh God. God, in your presence, oh God, in your real presence, oh God, the the tangible presence, oh God, until we reach your presence, oh God, where we can see you face to face, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, oh God, that you are allowing us, oh God, to be free in you, God. During this time, oh God, we're free to worship you, oh God. We're free to praise you, oh God. We're free to call upon the name of the Lord, God. You said that everybody who call upon your name shall be saved, oh God. We thank you for salvation on this morning, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for not leaving us the way that we were, God, but giving us a new opportunity, God, to live a holy life, God, a just life, God, a righteous life, God, a faithful life, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, God, we thank you on this morning, oh God. We we thank you, oh God, that we our desire, God, is to come higher in our faith, oh God. We need to have true faith, oh God. There are a lot of false faith, God. There's a lot of false things, oh God. We don't want our words to, to portray we have faith, God, but our actions are not there, God. We want our lives to resemble true faith, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We know, oh God, that the opposite of that, God, is 
fear, God, in the name of Jesus. And we also understand, God, that we torment our minds, oh God, and that is due to worry, oh God. Worry is when we torment our minds in the name of Jesus. It is literally a mental suffering. It is what we afflict ourselves with, with disturbing thoughts, God. We torment our mind, God. We allow our minds to be tormented, God, because we stand in fear, God. Your word said that you've not given us the spirit of fear, God, but you've given us love, power, and a sound mind, God. We know fearful fearful thoughts will come upon us, God, and we also understand that you've told us many times through your word to fear not, so it's not that we should not think about fear, we shall not act in fear, God. So we're asking that you would help us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We understand, God, that we allow people to torment us, God, and we torment ourselves, God, when we don't have our identity in you, God, when we have low self-esteem, when we have not recognized that we are royalty, God, when we have not recognized that you made us to be the head and not the tail, God, you made us to be but above and not beneath, God. You have made us to be a lender, God, and not a borrower, oh God. So we're thanking you, God, that we're coming into the realness, God, of who we are in you, God, who you say we are, God, as we read your word, God, as we study it. That's how we learn who we are in you. That's when we're able to declare it into the atmosphere. We're able to throw it back into the enemy's face when he come and try to torment our minds, try to torment our spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. It is very important that we stay connected to you, God, because when we're disconnected from you, when we have not prayed, God, when we have not read your word, God, when we have not worshipped you, oh God, that is when we become disconnected, God, and that is the grounds for tormenting, God. We torment ourselves, oh God. The enemy will torment our minds in the name of Jesus. So we're devouring, God, to stay connected to you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that we're understanding what our royal rights are in you, God, and we understand, God. God, that worry, God, that is control that cannot be. That is control that cannot be controlled. That is the result of trying to control something that cannot be controlled. That is what worry is, oh God. So we understand, God, now we have a better visual picture, God, of how worry is tormenting us, oh God. Your word says to be anxious for nothing, but in all all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to make our requests known to you, God, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding shall keep our heart and our mind through Christ Jesus. So we're thanking you on today, God. We're decreeing and declaring on today, God, that our minds will be at peace, oh God, because we cannot be at peace and worry at the same time. So we're declaring our minds this day, God, will be at peace, God. Our minds will be at rest, oh God. We will rest ourselves in your bosom on today, God. In the name of Jesus, we'll quiet down the thoughts of fear in our mind, oh God. We'll quiet down the thoughts of fear in our actions, oh God. We're declaring, oh God, that we will be at peace on this day, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, your word says in Hebrew chapter 11, verses 1 and 2, faith is what makes real the things we hope for. It is proof of what we cannot see. God was pleased with the people who lived a long time ago because they had faith like this. God, we thank you and we praise you, oh God. We vow this day to pray your word, God, not our worries. We will pray your word over this day, God, not 
our worries, God. We decree and declare all these things to be done, and so shall it be unto the glory of God. Go and have a wonderful day in Jesus. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen.